Uh, again, if you've never done it before, hold on to your hats. It's it's a tough, bumpy old ride, this one. So welcome Jane Allen, a director of the International Quizzing Association. Good to have you here. Hello, Gareth. Nice to be here. Thanks for having me. So coming up really soon, we've got the World Quizzing Championships. It was meant to be in June and then the pandemic hit and scuppered everything. So now you've regrouped and it's happening on the 5th of December. For the benefit of somebody who's never done the World Quizzing Championship before, can you tell us what's involved in it? Okay, so it's a very difficult test, the World Championships, um, and it has 240 questions split across eight different genres, categories, if you like, um, and they all have an international nature. We have a panel of setters from around the world, so you won't get uh, questions, uh, sort of parochial, local knowledge type questions in there. Everything will be very international, so it'll be very different to anything you've ever played before. And we play it on the same day all over the world. Usually when we are allowed to have live venues, um, we have them, uh, we had 62, I think last year, um, literally all over the world, about 2000 people playing. This year, we've had to bring it all online. Um, so uh, we have had to completely reinvent the wheel, rethink everything, look into how can we prevent cheating, um, you know, how can we uh, get this out to everybody, all sorts of things. So it's it's been a hell of a challenge, Gareth, but here we are, only one, one week away. <laughs> so in terms of the actual uh, questions, it's the same brain-busting kind of combination of just about anything is up for grabs from around the world. So it's, it's, it's no different in that regard. Top-level uh, questions and lots of them. Yeah, if you've played any of our international quizzes before, uh, it'll be like that. Uh, again, if you've never done it before, hold on to your hats. It's it's a tough, bumpy old ride, this one. Uh, but hopefully an interesting challenge. Um, you know, you'll never score as highly uh, in the world championships as you will, you know, in your local quizzes. Um, but hopefully the challenge is, is really interesting um, and, uh, and that people still find it enjoyable. They obviously do because we've been doing it for very many years now. <laughs> yeah, so how many years? That. How many years has it been going now? Well, I think we—I think this is 17 years now. I think we've been doing this one. <laughs> I mean, that's a long time. Um, yeah. And so, as far as kind of the the history of the competition goes, this is a legitimate, genuine WQC. It's not a WQC light or a WQC asterisk. It's actually it will take its place in the pantheon. It will take its, yeah, it will take its place um, in amongst all of the others. We, when we didn't know how long all this was going to rumble on for, we replaced the World Championships in June with a not the World Championships, which was a half one just really for fun for people. Uh, but this one is uh, the actual World Championships. We're hoping it might bring some new people in. Um, the, the problem we have at the moment with COVID is that either you do it or you don't do it. You know, you either have to find a new way of doing it, um, recognising that people could cheat, people might find it uh, difficult uh, because, you know, you've got to use new technology and all that kind of stuff, or you just decide to give it a miss. And we thought, actually, no, we've got all the questions. We know that this quiz has got quite a big following and that people do enjoy doing it, despite the questions being very hard, um, you know, and that we should we should just do it. And, and see what happens. And, uh, you know, we've, we've been running other quizzes as well online. Um, and we have had very little incidents of, uh, of cheating or suspected cheating. Um, so I think the risk is fairly minimal. We charge people to do it. That puts a lot of people off. You know, if you were just gonna sort of have a go, rock up, cheat, you're not gonna pay to do it. Um, you know, you can see very clearly uh, on Zoom um, what people are doing as well. So you can keep quite a good idea, you know, quite good tabs on people. We also have stats from many, many years. So we see very quickly if anybody has suddenly scored much more highly than we would anticipate. Um, that's probably something that uh, the people aren't aware of. But we do have systems running in the backgrounds of everything we do that flag anybody that uh, suddenly does extremely well. Um, so, you know,
you know, even if we haven't spotted them uh, ourselves, the, the systems do. So hopefully, um, you know, people will enjoy it and that they will play in the spirit of this thing. You know, as an organiser, um, and this is an enormous one to organise because it gets translated and, uh, and all sorts of stuff and coordinating people, not just in the UK as I do. Um, I also am the coordinator for the global effort. Um, you know, it's huge and it's devastating if people cheat mess around there's no one more invested in this than me gareth i can assure you and uh, you know I, I just hope that people play play nicely mm. this is a game for grown-ups you know we only want grown-ups playing if you can't play like grown up go somewhere else <laughs> and there was a post um yesterday um as we record this uh, about some software you'll be using which will kind of monitor monitor uh, computer usage of mm -hmm. of people who are kind of likely to be challenging um, for the title so again another thing to make sure that the the top scores um, are all kind of as cast iron and, and um, reliable as they possibly can be. Yeah absolutely so Stephen's done an excellent job um, in uh, seeking out uh, software for this so the software we have uh, bought um, can monitor whether or not you have left the screen. So anybody um, who might want to Google something or send a message to somebody, um, it, it will flag that to them. Um, and after a number of times, and I'm not going to tell you how many times, it will throw you out of the test entirely. And that will be, uh, that will be your lot. Um, and it also sends your answers straight into us as well. So another uh, point we identified as uh, as being potentially problematic is uh, the uh, between you finishing answering the questions and then marking them that somebody could massage those or you know tweak their answers mm -hmm. they can't uh, with this um, and we will have um, those people in in zoom rooms mostly um, so that we can watch them and have them sort of in a side room so there's only a few of them um, at any one point as you say so that we can make sure the you know that the winners are genuinely the winners mm -hmm. Um, and so hopefully we have, we've got it as tight as we can, Gareth. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we have got this thing as, as tightly nailed down as we possibly can. So you've got everything organised so far in terms of brutal questions, brutal but interesting questions, put it that way. Um, <laughs> challenging. Can we go for the word challenging? Challenging. <laughs> and you've also got the, the kind of security and um credibility side of things you're dealing with in terms of the um just making sure that people aren't cheating as far as possible and you can never completely rule it out people will always if they're really determined find a way but you've got a lot more in place than you've ever had before so that's great so people can have quite a lot of confidence and people you know live events aren't foolproof either you know it's just different ways of yeah. of people potentially cheating you know there there is no way short of us having one person standing over every person taking part in a quiz you know there is no way of absolutely 100 percent preventing it but i think we've done as much as we possibly can to prevent um, cheating and we ask people as well you know most people are decent people gareth there's not that many people who would who would cheat because there's nothing to gain really a few extra points is that worth potentially getting caught and if you get caught the prize for getting caught is that no one will ever play on a quiz team with you again you'll be completely ostracized um you know i, I just don't think it's worth mm. it's worth the risk for, for a few points you know so if somebody wants to play it's on the 5th of december yeah um depending on where you are in the world there'll be zoom rooms how can people sign up how much does it cost and how long will it take them to do it? Okay, so if you go to quest.quizzing.com, you will find um, a link to the website uh, or the entry system. So you just find your nearest venue or pick a Zoom room and join that. Um, it is five pounds for everybody. Um, some people, if they've got live venues, might find that the organisers have to charge a supplement on top of that to cover their costs. Um, the quiz is in two parts, um, so it will probably take about um, about two hours for answering the questions, and then you've got to be given the answers to the questions. So I would allow at least two and a half hours, maybe even three, two and a half, three hours. Um, in the UK, I've set up three Zoom rooms um, throughout the day. 
Um, I can take 60 people um, into those Zoom rooms um, and I might be able to increase capacity there as well if I can get some people to help me proctor. Um, then we can put people into breakout rooms and, uh, and cope with a lot more if we, if we need to. There are some live venues. I think Scotland's still okay. I think Ewan's still all right to have his venue. Steve Lilly, I know, can't. Um, I think you probably can't either, can't. Gareth, can you now? And yeah, and I think, um, you know, it's just very difficult in the UK, but there are countries in, you know, other countries who can um, have uh, proctored venues. So, so some of those are going ahead. Other than that, we'll see you all in Zoom land. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, best of luck. Hope everything goes well. And in a week and a bit's time that we're just talking about fantastic quizzing and brilliant performances and nothing else. It sounds Absolutely. like it's all The ones you miss. The ones you miss. The They're always the ones you miss. Yeah. <laughs> right, cheers, Jane. Thank you. Thanks very much, Gareth.